Hey guys, this is Eddie Man Hayek with Make Digital Art, and today I'm going to show you how to make a perspective grid in Photoshop 2021. For more tips and tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. Thanks. So the first thing you're going to do, open up a new canvas, new document in Photoshop. Then you're going to create a new layer. And what we're going to do is start off with just making a straight line for the horizon. So this is going to be our horizon line. Make another new layer. And as you can see, I held shift to basically use the brush to draw that straight line. That's just a quick tip. So in our new layer, layer two that we made here, I'm going to go to the polygon tool. And over here, you might have been using a different tool, like the line tool or something. So just know that you have to like hold and click on it to change it to the polygon tool. Going from there, you just uh, go over here, up here at the settings, and you're going to go to this gear icon. And from there, what we're going to do is set our star ratio where it says here in the old versions of Photoshop, you should just check box for a star shape. Now you actually have to change the star ratio in the beginning. It's going to be hundred percent, but what's going to happen when you do that is you'll see. Oh, because I have the number of sides here, like crazy up, but basically if we're, we were to use this, it would just draw a regular polygon. So what you want to do is change that hundred percent to one and that's what's gonna enable you to use it as an actual vanishing point so after you hit that to one what you're gonna do here is change the number of sides up here this setting it says set number of sides you're gonna change that to 100 because that's the highest we can go and then all you're going to do make sure that your color is going to show so don't have a white on white have make it black or something dark and all you're going to do, click and drag. And as you can see, we have our perspective lines and vanishing points. So all I'm going to do is click and drag this so that I can center it. I'm going to look for the center of the page. Usually this will auto. I don't know why it's not. Um, you're going to center it on the page. So what you can do is if something like that happened to you where the snapping stopped working, you're going to do this where you use the align tools up top after using the move tool. So center and then center vertically. And that's how we realize our horizon lines down in the center. So we're actually gonna take that and move it as well. Make it centered. And now you have everything centered. So if we zoom in, that was a little too much, but just so I can show you that you can use this as perspective line, what I'm going to do now is to draw on it. So I'll create a new layer so we can draw over here, put that over our perspective. And I'm going to pick a different color red so it pops on it. And then all we're going to do is start drawing. Pick, uh, did not have my brush tool on. I press B to turn the brush tool on. Oh, my so I selected something there. Like I said, I'm gonna use the brush tool. So press B, turn on the brush tool. Got this straight line right here. Got a straight line up. Got another straight line. Basically, now we can just follow the perspective line. So we find a point where we want to stop. So I'm going to pick here, draw our other straight line, make sure it lands on the same line. Same thing for the tops. So we're just going to a straight line. Needs, draw our other straight line. Line, and then all we have to do is connect these. So click, hold shift, and then click on the end point. And that's how you draw like an slanted line, but keeping it straight. Same thing, so we're gonna click, then click on the new point while holding shift. Same for the rest of these. So as you can see, if we hide the perspective grid now, you can see that this is drawn in perspective. And basically, all you'd have to do for two perspectives is go and add in another one of the polygons. 
So we're gonna zoom back out. And normally when you have two perspectives, you won't be able to see them on the actual artboard. So what we're going to do is we're actually gonna make a copy of this one, two copies. And what we're gonna do, hide the first one and move these two out. So I'm gonna move this to the end of the page and move the other one to the end of the page. As you can see, they're not gonna be intersecting because they weren't big enough. So what we're gonna have to do is make them a lot bigger. First thing we're gonna do is flatten them because if you can see here at the bottom of my screen, my document size is actually decently big and this might cause your program to slow down. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is flatten these shapes or rasterize them. So I'm gonna hit rasterize layer, rasterize layer because you don't really care about the quality of these lines. So even if it looks pixelated, it's fine as long as you can read it as a line. So both of these, I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna make them probably three times the size. So we're gonna put 300% here. And the same thing for the other one. And you wanna do them each separately so that they use their centers as their scaling point. And now, as you can see, we've developed the two vanishing point perspectives. So you can do the same thing to draw your boxes in here. Like so, subscribe for more tips and tutorials like this in the future. Make digital art. Thank you for watching.